something happens, I'd like to be able to look back on our mistakes. My legs are on fire. Dude, I'm gonna slap that camera out of your hands. I hate it. I hate Gatlinburg. Let me be the first to say I don't like Gatlinburg. I'm so tired already. <laughs> It's gonna be long, dude. Right. Just let me let me do it. Let me do it like this. Guess where we're gonna be in six hours? In here. Guess where we're gonna be in twelve hours? In, in here. here. Guess where we're gonna be in eighteen hours? In here. Yeah, we're gonna be living in this car <laughs> just for forty-eight hours. Pull up navigation so we know what we're supposed to do. I'm sure and it's the pull highway. Pull up navigation. You've got navigation. Why do you want me to kill my battery immediately? What, what's the, you made this argument for the stupid GPS. So well, long much. trips, it, it, you, you lose a percentage of time. It's not the fastest all the time. Go ahead, Klingman's Dome. Klingman's Dome, let's see, let's see the eight hours. Considering that wearing masks is now mandatory, there was nobody in that store wearing any. Get out of here, Ben. I'm not... It's not bad, it's fun. And we could, we could do a video of it. That'd be worth it by itself. Uh, no, crush cam. Like crush cam is funnier. So this is the view from the top of the nine-story tower. Yeah. You will get no soccer in that one. It's kind of a creepy walk for somebody who doesn't like heights, but here we are. <laughs> Ralph, what do you think? It's actually worth it. That's it. <laughs> See? That's a rare if thing. If Ralph to says it's say. worth it, it's probably worth it. You should come. Okay, that's not too bad. Wow. You found Gap is only 20 minutes away from here. How can you tell if you're driving a Subaru? It smells like oil. It smells like oil. Oh, that is pretty. Why aren't you out here? Why aren't you out here? I'll tell you why, because you didn't think of it. Well, we have made it to Gatlinburg, the burg of Gats, where Gats go to get their burgs. Turn left. Oh. Best ribs. <gasps> we don't want. Turn left on Leggett Street. Then take the first left. Try and 
stop me. So far, so good. Mmm, brisket's good. It's a little cold side, but... So, if you're concerned about sanitation, Gatlinburg might not be the city for you. Because it feels like it's still 2019 here. We spent 30 minutes driving through Gatlinburg. Through what is only about two blocks. I think I can count the number of masks I saw on one hand. And hey, maybe COVID-19 doesn't affect people in Tennessee. Maybe there's something in the water. Or something in the whiskey. I don't think I told you though. I really don't like Gallagher. <laughs> You've told me. I hate it. I hate Gatlinburg. Let me be the first to say I don't like Gatlinburg. It is too crowded for no freaking reason. It's like a fair. If a fair was, if a fair was a town ago. with no <laughs> rides or parks or attractions, it's nothing but just like eclectic buildings trying to well, get someone to go in. You're not going like Pigeon Forge. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of a neat. I hate it here. <laughs> I really do. This is everything I hate Ripley's, in one it or not. really small town. Like it reminds me of a of a of a uh, Myrtle Beach, but Myrtle Beach it makes sense. It's like look at this. Look at that. Yeah. Myrtle Beach makes sense because like let's go have Chinese food. And then that's it. You're you're done. But if I'm being completely honest with you, Ralph, I genuinely. And I don't mean this to be funny. I really genuinely don't feel like we should eat here. There's way too many clearly don't give a crap about the I'm eating here. I didn't drive 40 minutes out of the way. To not get coronavirus? To not get food. Because <laughs> that's what you're telling me. You didn't come to Tennessee not to get coronavirus. <laughs> All right. So, that is the least comfortable I've felt in a long time. Uh, ever since we came down the, uh, the Smokies into Gatlinburg, um, I have seen maybe five masks the whole time. Are we trading? Of course we're trading. We're trading. I drove an hour here. Yeah, but you didn't have to. You chose to do that. This is food. This is the plan. And then you're gonna steal some. You're gonna steal some. Yeah, candy I'm from stealing me. stealing That's some candy fun. from Ralph. So again, the place we just ate at, all of the silverware is kept in a single container. Then it's all open, laying down. It sucks. Dude, it sucks bad. If there's anywhere you're going to get coronavirus, you're going to get it here. Oh, Nobody's so trying. Good. Not Guaranteed. not one person is trying to social distance. I don't know if this virus is a hoax or not. I deep down don't feel like it is, but I feel like the state of Tennessee feels like it is. I, all I know is I'm from North Carolina and North Carolina is telling me to social distance. So maybe people in Tennessee are built differently, but I'm going to follow North Carolina rules. And now I've got to drive. <laughs> Let's play Count the Masks. Alright. Do we see any over there? I don't. How about over there? I don't see any over there either. Hmm. Maybe they don't sell masks in Tennessee. I would think they would. It would seem like a reasonable item to carry. If we don't do it, we're going to miss it. We have to do it. All right, everybody. So we made it to Klingman's Dome. Um, the weather is horrible. So uh, it's, it's cold. It's uh, windy. It's, uh, it's really drizzly. Like, it's, it's more drizzly than I've ever felt it drizzle. 
but uh, we're gonna we're, we drove six hours to get here, so we're gonna hike up the mountain. We're praying for a gap in the clouds so we can do a sunset picture. Um, although we really have to get moving because we're running really tight on time. So hopefully we'll get an opening. Otherwise, we're gonna have a uh, blank white image, <laughs> and I'm taking it anyway. <laughs> Let's go get gold. Is that the glass stove thing? Oh, it's like two miles. All right. We're not all cleaning the stone, man. <laughs> I goes, we're not on Klingman's Dome, are we? And he goes, no, it's like two miles up that way. And he goes, well, you guys can go. I'm going inside the truck. You will be surprised because the thin air is going to get you really quickly. You're going to start to get worn out before you think you should be getting worn out. I'm already worn out. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you keep leaning forward. That help to balance the weight a little and give your like low back muscles a break. That was a trick I learned the first time I came up here. That was like a good way to wreck your back. I don't want to take advice from you, <laughs> Mister. I have a bad back. That's where the bear comes out of. <laughs> I think it's gonna be. You can make it around this bend. Actually, no. I'm gonna stop right here. <sighs> hey, you can make. Hey, a little bit more you windier. can make it. You can't. No, I'm, I'm, I don't have a choice. We drove six hours to get here. Yeah. So, Ralph, can you make it? Huh. That little bit of a break gave me gave me enough energy to get to whatever bench they were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Ralph, is it worth it? Is it uh, worth so it? So far, no. No, it's not worth it? It is not, because I'm Why looking at a cloud. Why is it not worth it? <laughs> because it's a cloud. That's the cloud he's talking about. You see all that nondescript white? It's gonna really be awesome for a colorful sunset. And what what is it that we missed out on? <laughs> we came here instead of? Probably the most beautiful <laughs> scene I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> all right, we'll get the camera. Because we aren't gonna have five hours to kill up here. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I told that you. got worse. Did you get some bricks? But and it, it really doesn't let up. It will continue to do this for the rest of For a half life. a mile, dude. <laughs> I've been warning that's why I keep warning you. <sighs> you know, I might not look like it in the video. This backpack is like 50 pounds. 50 pounds of raw content creation that no one's gonna watch. <laughs> I will throw that thing down the mountain. <laughs> We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'm really tired already. <laughs> How bad is it, Ruff? Dude, it's rough. It's really freaking rough. Is it? Yeah. My legs are on fire. Dude, I'm gonna slap that camera out of your hands. Why? Is it a face. reminder of the walk you have to it's do? It's a reminder of... Stop it again? Yes. The bench is right there. It's within sight. Make it to the bench. <laughs> Praise yourself, Ralph. It gets steeper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm right here for that steep. Sit down. Take a two minutes. Hold what? <laughs> Bench. Socks nuts. I freaking warned you. I tried really hard not to sugarcoat this. Now when we get there, we still have to climb up the thing. There's a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> like I got you this far and didn't tell you. You're gonna get there and there's a ladder. <laughs> it's like those ladders from grandpa. <laughs> yeah. And they're gonna be wet. <laughs> 
Don't Dude, do it. I'm out of steam already. Don't do it. I'm out of steam Just because you see a bench? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> no sense in killing ourselves. You got this. I'm going to keep saying that until you get up there. You want to have me stop saying it? You got to get up there. <laughs> I could also get you to stop saying it by walking back down. Yeah, well, I got the keys. <laughs> But this will be worth it at two in the morning when a bear is growling. <laughs> yeah, I heard they're most active around sunset. <laughs> Want me to carry your bag? That's exactly what they are. Come out in one area, eat a hiker, and go back in. <laughs> Skip this one. Yeah. No, no, I'm sitting on it. Good point. So, so far, we're No, because good you keep time. breaking my stride. Like. <laughs> so I'm keep on going. No. I'll meet you up there. Because then you'll turn around and go back. Maybe. I'll never see you again. <laughs> Maybe. You see me go around that corner, you're going to go back. <laughs> Perfect weather for photography. Klingman's Dome. <laughs> I swear it was nicer last time. <laughs> yeah. so That's fine. I'm you can piss, piss off the top. That's fine. Come on. Piss myself. <laughs> Whatever. That was terrible. Well, the bathrooms are at the bottom, so that was a mistake you made. Not scared of heights. The funny thing is, this doesn't bother me. I think because it's like solid ground that it's not moving. But like I told you. Here's your bench. Nice and dry. It's not be dry enough. This right here. This is where I've taken my favorite photo. But you wouldn't know it. <laughs> not today. Nope. Well, we're gonna give it a while, see if it clears up. But you proved you could do it. <laughs> so that's that's all that's all that matters. Look at this guys, this is what we're here for. That's I'll set the GoPro down.
but dude it, that looks berry if i've ever seen berry stuff and we got a, at least 30 minutes of going down it will be dark when we get down guys i am so stoked i think we got what we came out here for and it was better than i could have expected i hope to god it actually comes out but the sky opened up for what do you what do you say rob it had to have been a, a two minutes. two minutes yeah something like Maybe that it, insanely minutes. short window of time everybody had already left and it was the most glorious sunset i Absolutely can't imagine boring. i can't imagine what it would look like if the sky was clear to, to have like a clear enough opening to have seen that all around would have been mind blowing. But uh, it was completely worth the trip alone. Now we've got to walk down in this. It almost redeems. Pretty <laughs> sure of Look, a lifetime. We got to walk down in this. <laughs> I hope to God we're the only ones. <laughs> that bear is insatiable. You don't know. That's why they call him Barry the Insatiable. <laughs> like that, that that guy that went off the alaska that's where we were Bears. getting eaten by a bar i'd like to make some headway getting down this mountain so something happens i'd like to be able to look back on our mistakes and understand why Jeez. Dude, I'm tired. I gotta pee. Part of me doesn't want to go into a closed room, though, and come back out to whatever's out there. <laughs> I'm looking awfully deep in the woods. <laughs> I'd like to not know. I'd rather not be surprised. I guess we're different that way. Remember this. Every single time you go, oh, I want to go to Yellowstone. Why do you think, why do you think oh, I want to do Sunrise? We can get it. We can mosey out there as soon as it starts becoming visibly light. There's no chance that it's going to get darker. <laughs> That's where you stopped to breathe before there was a bench. So we're almost there. We're making record time coming down this hill. We'll be able to see how long it takes. It's going to be four and a half minutes. Go, holy man. It's crazy what a potential bear we might entice you to do. Hey, YouTube. I don't know if you can tell if I'm scared. But I'm scared. <laughs> Dude, if something growls, I'm seriously going to piss myself. <laughs> I'm going to piss myself just because I need to pee. What is that? Is that the parking lot? That, no, that's somebody. What if that's a bear wearing people clothes? That's the coolest. Yeah. I'm scared of a bear that might not have been there. <laughs> Everybody's been talking to us about bears. That is the creepiest hill to come down in the dark. Probably. Hey, Ralph. I'm going to go ahead and start the car and drive off. <laughs> I just checked the footage and it took nine minutes to come back down that mountain. Bears are good motivators. <laughs> so our uh, it looks like our pictures from uh, Klingman's Dome are going to stitch. Uh, I got uh, uh, one of mine stitched together. It looks okay. It needs some work. Ralph got one of his stitched together, so we, we will be coming away with something. Um, the sunset was freaking amazing. I mean, it was absolutely, totally worth the amount of time we spent up there in the gray wasteland that was the <laughs> cloud we were trapped in. But uh, we're going to try to get some sleep. Uh, we're camped out in the Subaru here on the top of Klingman's Dome with the bears. So... Um, yeah, we were awfully concerned coming down the mountain and somehow sitting in a car, everything's fine, I guess, <laughs> Ralph. I don't know at what point that stopped being a concern, but Ralph thinks these thin glass windows are going to save our logic. lives. Get out but of here. We could drive down. We're alive right now, but whatever. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. What was that? <laughs> Get out of here with that mess. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try some different light angles and see what the best I can do with this little you aperture try light. Turning is. that freaking light off. Let me go to sleep. Good morning, Ralph. Ralph, how'd you sleep? I actually slept pretty easily. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> uh. All right, guys, it's day two of hazy, foggy, 
and blends. We're gonna do what we can and see if we can make something out of it. Uh, yeah. So, here's open. Do me a favor and don't let me forget this GoPro. Because <laughs> it's sitting on the side of the car. Oh, you can see a spot of light, morning light coming through. Say something funny. Wow. I'm putting you on the spot. All right, three, two, one. Ralph, say something funny. Three, two, Don't, one. I Ralph, nothing. say something funny. Ralph has nothing funny. Ralph is funny.
This is the sky we were hoping for the whole time we were out there. Guess where we're not anymore. Yeah. I don't know if Crumpler's still taking returns, but you can try. Look guys, the Appalachian Trail, right down there. It's where everybody that doesn't want to be found is. That's a whole nother chapter I need to let you guys in on. It's the Red Dog stories. Her a good nog. Her nogan right now. <laughs>